Hello out there. It is me, Coach Kevin. And I have two things. They're both yellowish uh, to share with you. The first is, um, this is from pre-COVID days. This is called the, the spelling list and menu. Um, it says pencil only, please, but kids who want to use, students who want to use pen uh, may. Um, the only three things you have to do are in the middle, this row. It says menu row two, choose three of three. It means do all three. So on the left here, it says atmosphere, climate, and flood. And the, the vowels for all of those words are a different color. I started with black, but then I, I went over it with red. It just looked more colorful to me. Uh, the next one, this one that's purple, I wrote all those with my non-dominant hand. So if, I, if you're right-handed um, naturally, you have to switch to left hand for the uh, other handed. So I did left handed there. Looks wiggly. <laughs> and then down at the bottom here, uh, this is called a strike through spelling, but I think I want to change it to uh, underline spelling because a lot of us who use devices, we know that if you spell something incorrectly, software will underline it in red and then you uh, click it and it'll give you the correct spelling most of the time. So <clears throat> for that, what I did was I, I spelled the words incorrectly intentionally and then I <clears throat> red underlined it and then spelled it correctly there. The class asked if they needed to to do all of the words and yep welcome to trimester two you have to do all the words. So there's weather vocabulary for most of um, a lot of trimester two will have weather vocab. We'll also get some um, some terms from Native American um, uh, different Native American groups and culture. Um, We'll do some of that. Uh, math words were, um, I told the class <clears throat> for the first time ever, uh, I think I'm gonna teach, rather than do a whole unit on multiplication and then a whole unit on division, I think I'm gonna teach them at the same time. Um, I, I have a pretty good feeling um, and we'll see. Um, so we'll see how that goes. If you look on the, um, uh, oh, the rep sheets. The, so the rep sheets that we did today, we filled out a lot. For writing, we did this. It says a storybook, my nine days off, family food traditions, and choice. And the writing target for that is 10 to 15 minutes per each topic uh, by the end of the week. I put spelling under, under reading for now. Um, for social justice, we talked about... Um, uh, a haircutting, there was something in the news about a, um, a student who needed to cut their hair um, and the, the, the family was upset that the student had to cut their hair for, um, because it's important in, the, in their culture. So we talked about that. And speaking of culture, we're beginning our uh, Kid That's Me project. So I wrote about uh, my grandma's house. Whenever we went there for Thanksgiving, my plates would always have brown or tan tan food on them and my grandma used to tease me about it and then I would go back and have vegetables um, oh and then California changes it says we watched um, we watched an episode of um, Spirit Rangers uh, Spirit Rangers is here uh, it's on Netflix um, and kids who want to who want to watch it go for it it's really sweet and wholesome um, we also have another this Chumash playlist here uh, this is what we're going to be um, using to learn more in depth about that tribe, um, tribal customs in particular. And, oh, for the other thing I kind of skipped over, the honeycomb spelling, this one is more um, fun, uh, and it's finding words inside of these letters. Uh, Bianca found a bunch. Um, a lot of them found the word meme really quickly, which is very interesting to me. Uh, and emo. People found emo a lot. Uh, oh, for these, if you're interested in this, uh, I left a link to this, uh, this document, and if you click week 15 answers, it'll take you here. I'm good, thanks. Um, and it takes you through uh, what all of the answers are. Uh, and points. I, um, this is a this sort of puzzle thing, um, sort of puzzle game. Some people, I think it might be in the New York Times. Um, but people like to play this and, and do points. And we don't do points. We just have fun finding words together. All right. That's the big stuff. Um, hope you're all doing well. Um, there it is again. Ah! Sparkles. It's not New Year's yet. Uh, okay. Aloha. <laughs> Au revoir.